waiting to pour it on you. If you haven't accepted him as your Savior and friend, I invite you to do that this very evening. We're going to turn our songbook down. We're going to sing the, be the beautiful song that Fanny Crosby wrote about, that I just presented a word on, Jesus, keep me near the cross. There a precious fountain, free to all a healing stream, flows from Calvary's mountain in the cross. In the cross, be my glory ever. Not glory in anything else. We're not glorying in our own personal outward appearance. We don't find glory in our house, in our car, and what's in our bank account. We find glory in the cross and in Jesus Christ until my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Near the cross, a trembling soul. Are you that trembling soul this evening? If you're near the cross, love and mercy can find you. There the bright and morning star, it will shed its beams around you. Near the cross, O Lamb of God, bring its seams before me. Bring the scene of the agony. Bring the scene of the nails going into his hand. Help me walk from day to day with its shadow o'er me. And near the cross, I'll watch and wait, hoping, trusting, ever, till I reach that golden strand just beyond the river. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. Let's sing the first two verses together. <clears throat>
We thank you so much, Lord, that we can bring all of our cares and concerns to you. We thank you, God, that you are loving, that you are forgiving, that you are ever interceding to the Father for your children. Father, we just pray now with a humble spirit and a contrite heart, praying in faith like a child, that you would touch each person in this meeting this evening, that you would heal their bodies if that is their need, that you would touch their broken family, that you would give them the peace that passes all understanding because it's down at the cross of Jesus, down at the cross of Jesus where we first saw the light and the burden of our heart was rolled away. Father, we thank you so much for your mighty working power. We thank you so much, God, for the things that you have done for your people. We thank you, God, for the times at the mercy seat here. I've witnessed it myself that has been lined with the saints that have gone on. Father, we thank you for the heritage that they left behind. Father, we thank you so much for everything that you have done for us. We thank you, God, for the revivals that have happened. And Father, we pray for the future. We pray, God, for the future of this place. We pray for the future, God, that in the cross that we will find what we need, that we will find hope, that we will find strength, that we will find the courage to go on. Father, each person that's in this meeting tonight, maybe there's one person who is standing, Lord, giving their burdens to you. We pray for them, God. We pray for them individually. We pray for their families. Father, there's so much brokenness in this world. There's so much sin. And Father, you never promised that this life would be all wonderful. You never promised that we wouldn't face trials and temptations. But you did say that I will be with you. You did say I will not forsake you. And we are trusting in that. We thank you, God, that you never leave us. You never fail us. You're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And Father, we know that all things that are done are done for the glory of you. Father, we thank you so much that one day you called our names. You saw us from our life of sin. You saw what we were living in. You saw the path that we were on. We are on the path to hell. And you called us from that, Lord. You called us to a higher standard. You called us to live in holiness, to live in the light of your grace. Cause us to come back to that, Lord. Your church is in a dire need of that, Lord. We're in need of a revival. We're in need of a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit. Too many things in the world are being infiltrated in our church, Lord. Cause us to come back to you. Cause our hearts to hurt for what yours hurt for, Lord. Cause us to put others first. Cause us to put them, their needs, before what we need, Lord. Allow us, Lord, to minister to the one who is downcast, the one who is laid aside, the one who is inflicted with pain, the one who is addicted to drugs, the one who is addicted to alcohol. Father, allow us to be a living example and a witness of your love and grace and what being near the cross can provide to them. Father, allow us in this day, before your return, to have a mighty harvest of souls, that we may heed the news to them that one day you're going to break the eastern sky. One day, as it is recorded in your word, you are going to come back. You're going to gather your church. You're going to take us home to be with you. And what a day that will be. What a day that will be. Help us be ready for that day, Lord. Let us be watching and waiting, hoping, trusting ever, till our raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. As this meeting continues, Lord, as we continue to abide in your presence, as we continue to rest in your grace and in the presence of your Holy Spirit, allow you to reign upon us, Lord. Help us to always be focused on you and the things of you. For we ask this in your name, giving you thanks. Amen and amen. Near the cross, O Lamb of God, bring its scenes before me. Help me walk from day to day. 
with his shadow o'er me. Near the cross, I'll watch and wait, hoping, trusting ever, till I reach that golden strand just beyond the river. Verses 3 and 4 together, please. Yeah. 